Good morning, everybody. It's John on John's Kootenai River trip, 2022. And I'm about oh, 40 miles from Libby Dam here. And there is just no beaches here. It's just rock right to the water. Kind of reminds me of uh, Lake Kimbasket on the Columbia. So, really hard to find a spot to camp. I did find one last night. Um, I had to move a bunch of logs and rocks to uncover a little piece of sand and I put my tent up there. And uh, slept pretty well all night. And then around six o'clock this morning, a bear decided to come down into camp. And it was still dark out. And I think he touched my kayak. I heard kind of a thump. And uh, I just turned my lights on, got up, and there's a little um, kind of shelf above where I'm at. Shine my light up there, and sure enough, the bear was up there watching me. So it didn't seem like it wanted to go, and then it started moving towards, uh, more towards camp. So I got my fireworks out and went to blow off a couple fireworks and realized my lighter didn't work. I had to run and get the one out of my camp kit. And I uh, lit off a few fireworks, and that seemed to do it. The bear went away, and I got up and broke camp. Here I am on the water this morning, so a little surprise this morning. Uh, it's going to be tough today, not having any beaches. I see nothing. I mean, it is just rock all the way as far as you can see, rock shores. So if something comes up today, we'll turn the camera on and see what happens. See too many bridges on the Kootenai, especially here on Lake Kukanusa. So the creature that visited me this morning about 6 a.m. it was not even light yet. The sun was just like little glow in the sky. The animal came down and I heard it bump my boat, kind of ping, and that woke me up. And then a growl, and by that time I was in full preparation mode, getting my bear spray and fireworks and stuff. And uh, it retreated to this shelf in back of my camp was and I shined the light up there and there were two yellow eyes looking back at me and now I realize it wasn't a bear it was actually a wolf and uh, the reason I say a wolf is a bear would have acted differently it would have it would have uh, huffed and got a little excited and it's the bear's eyes are yellow but they're also farther apart so my first wolf encounter, after I let off a couple fireworks, it disappeared and did not see it again. So I'm pretty sure that would be a wolf. A bear usually would stick around if there was something of interest for it. Well, Beautiful day today, completely flat calm, and uh, pretty tired. I'm hoping to find a place to uh, spend a couple days. So I know it's hard to hear with this wind. So off we go.
roadside rest stop. I'm going to stop and check it out, see what's here. Use the facilities while I'm here. It's been a great ride. The wind up on my back has made probably the last 10 miles super easy. Which is something to be said. Let's see what this is all about. 